Hi, this is just a quick video on how to set up a desktop in TradingView, set your charts up how you want them, in a grid formation or horizontal formation, however you want them, this is how to set up your charts and or your desktops in TradingView. Okay, what I've done here, I'm just going to click on it. These are all my existing de desktops that I've get, got set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the plus sign up here. You can see, create a new tab. You can see I've got all my favorites saved down here. Once I've saved, once I've made a desktop, I'll save it as a favorite so I can pull it up anytime. Very handy if you shut down and you haven't saved anything. I'm going to click on the new chart. And the last one I was looking at, I believe, will load up. Probably that's probably correct. You can see there we have US dollar JPY. And then you go over to this area up here. And you can see in the top right here. And you can see it says select layout. Uh, but first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Manage Layouts and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to name this to Test Top. OK, click on Save. So I've saved that. And then I'm going to click on this. It says Select Layout. You can see at the moment it's just one square. That's because it's one chart. Now, down here, you've got a choice then. And if you look down here, you've got uh, anything on the two is a two pane, a three pane, a four pane, a five pane, six pane, up to seven, sorry, up to eight pane. Beyond that, you've got to pay for a lot more money than one, well, a lot more money, but quite a significant amount more money to get the next version up that allows you to do up to uh, 16 charts to open at the same time. OK, but, you know, I don't think you need that. But there you go, that, you might want to do that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select four charts in this case. The most I have is eight set up when I'm looking at a global picture of what I want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, click on four, and then four charts will appear. And you can see they're all the same, which is not a lot of good. You don't want four charts the same. So what you do then is you go up. Actually, what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to just get rid of the volume. You see the volume running down the bottom through here? I don't want to show that. So I'm going to go up here and X that and uh, go through this and just exit all of those. So I'm, not, I'm just getting rid of that indicator. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and change the uh, each, individual ones, each individual chart to a different currency pair. And like I say, with the indicator that we have, you don't have to use just Forex. You can trade individual shares or Bitcoin or whatever uh, currencies you, you want to do, crypto, whatever crypto you want. Now in this one, you can see I've got FXCM. So I'm going to go US dollar. I'm going to go, let's go US dollar against the, uh, or let's make that the other way around. Australian dollar, US dollar against the US dollar. And I'm going to click on that. And lo and behold, you'll see that we now have Australian dollar, US dollar in here. Click on this one here. And we'll change that one. Let's, let's go um, NZDGBP. See what comes up with there. Now let's go NZ dollar US dollar there. Oanda. What do we got? And when I'm looking down here, I'm looking that says Oanda and Oanda Oanda FXEM. These are just ones that I'm using. If you were trading with Oanda, you might want to get your data directly from Oanda. And you can see there they just load up through there. And just let's just put another thing on here. Let's just go to here and just so as you know, let's just put the indices up. Okay, on this one, let's just um, let's just put an indices on. OK, and you can see we have a FTSE in here as well. And as a matter of interest, let's just apply the indicator to that. And there we go. Click anywhere on the midline, anywhere on the chart. And there we go. There's the indicator loads up. It's looking very good indeed. And there, just on the basic settings. Anyway, so that's how you set up your... And then click up here, save. to Make sure you save it. So that's how you set up your desktops and choose your, uh, your various layouts that you want, your currency pairs or whatever you want to trade. And um, hope that helps. And I'll catch up with you soon on the very next video. Take care. Have a great day.